Okay, today I'm going to go ahead and take a look at these Coolant's INS FM17N. It's the same thing for the coolant uh, flow meter and the me and the meter frequency adapter. It's both an INS FM17N. Now, what I'm opening up here is going to be the coolant flow meter. This is what the coolant actually runs through, and it. Uh, tracks the movement of the fluid through this little unit here, sends it out as a signal to the other unit, which is the frequency adapter. And the frequency adapter, what it does is it multiplies the RPM signal to allow it to be read by most band tachometer headers, you know, like the ones that you find on your motherboard. What I'm actually going to be doing with this is using it with the AlphaCool Heat Master and using it with that board there to be able to monitor both of my loops. I actually have two sets of these that I'm going to use, one in each loop. So it's pretty pretty easy, pretty, pretty straightforward to uh, assemble these things. As you can see, this is basically all you get in these little boxes are these little two units and the instruction set. And one of the things that I noticed online was is I really couldn't get a good sense of scale, really how big are these things. As you can tell, they are actually rather small. Uh, very easy to hide, very easy to place it within the system, and to be able to use uh, wherever you, you probably need to be able to connect these things to. Pretty simple to use these, just Put in your connectors on either end. Uh, it's real simple, just whatever your uh, compression or barb fittings that you use to connect your tubing. You just put it in at the uh, each end and then connect your tubing. The fluid runs through it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now, the way you use these is you use this little plug right here that I'm pointing at, and that will plug into that module. Pretty straightforward, don't even need to read the instructions. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Reading the instructions is always a good idea, but uh, then you'll take this connector, and when I get the orientation right, be able to pop it in, and this connector right here is going to provide the power to the unit for it to be able to do that whole multiplication of the RPM signal and convert it to an RPM signal that the motherboard headers can read or fan controllers can read. And what I'm showing here is, is the little different settings that you can do. You can set the uh, tube sizing, which is what I was pointing at. That's pretty much it. It's very simple to connect. It's very simple to use. It's very small, but it's also a very critical piece uh, within the system because that point that I'm showing right there is going to connect to that monitoring point, whether it be the heat master that I'm going to be using or your fan motherboard pin, you need to have something that's going to be able to monitor that flow rate and make sure that you've constantly got a good flow of fluid. Because obviously if the flow stops running, you've got a problem and something's going to burn up quickly. So it's always a good idea to have something in there that's monitoring your flow and making sure that that fluid is constantly keeping things cooled. And there you have it. It's pretty much that simple. There is the Coolance INS FM17 coolant flow meter. And as I'm just kind of showing you real quick here with the ruler, it's really small. I mean, it's really not that big of, of an item. So pretty easy and uh, pretty easy to use, pretty easy to hide. And I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks so much.